Good morning, my dear ladies and gentlemen. This is Walter Langeke speaking here from Austria. In the near of Vienna, this fucking crime town, Treiskirchen. I am now talking about 15 years of concrete terror by ministries of Austria, especially the Ministry for Inner Affairs. Since this fucking crime of minister Ernst Strasser, we all know very well that this fucking crime was judged last year and, of course, but just now I am pleasing, I am really asking you international media to come over here to see yourself how these corrupted fucking Nazi cops are abusing my wife. How these fucking Nazi cops are working for this fucking all over corrupted Austrian government since now concrete 2002. This fucking state of Austria. Of course, I love Austria as my country and my home. But now I have to leave this country in case of concretely Nazi terror acts since now 15 years against my person and I can really fight these fucking hundreds of cops. But I cannot protect my helpless wife against hundreds of cops if they are working against the family. And if these fucking cops are told and ordered also concretely by the minister Sobotka, now he is minister of Austria. He is concretely chief of these fucking Austrian Nazi cops in Vienna, in Neunkirchen, in Tirol, in Wörgl, as also wherever I was telling about. Look, here is a crime going on. Of course. Now it is four o'clock in the morning. I did not sleep for two days. In real. I'm just pleasing you now, international media. You can get from me, in real, hundreds of concrete abuses done by cops. I cannot find in real words for a Nazi crime in the year 2017, high official. If I go to the court and I want to judge these fucking cops, the court is also working against me. And now I tell you in your fucking corrupted face. You, Minister Brandstetter, you are Minister for Justice. You are pleased since 2015. You told, or your cabinet told me, that the Team S is working in my house. And since 2015, a fucking chunky and a real crime and the video from last week, I have reported it, I have made it publish, public. He told he will kill me. He told to my wife, no one has to get her and he knows something if he eat with my wife. Both are dead in the midst. Very nice. I think it's a wonderful kind of showing the world how this Austria is a democracy. But in real, my lawyer since 2009 is also concretely involved. And I mean, this is the problem. If a justice is not believing in my words, why is my lawyer not able to look for some other lawyers or to bring other international help in this case. I mean, I know very well how to make business. 
The only sense why Austrian fucking government is killing me since now 1997. Or they just tried to kill me. Of course they have ruined my person in real. Over seven years I was really moving from one place to the other. In every fucking town. After I am calling an ambulance, this fucking terror by cops starts. And you fucking Mikkel Leitner, well known in the media 2012, you have visited Neunkirchen, this fucking crime of OP town. You know, I am talking about Nazi acts, about terror. Für Österreicher versteht sich das vielleicht Folter, Terror durch Österreichs Polizeibehörden. Kripo. I have also, I went in October to the police in Kripo in Baden. I told them, I want this fucking Minister for Inner Affairs judged. Whoever it is. If a minister is asked for to work on a cause. And this fucking minister is even just telling bullshit or not reacting. By God, this is not any kind of any serious democracy. Why I am treated? 1996. I want to lay a bill. I was rebuilding the University of Vienna. I am a rebuilder for historical objects and art. I have really worked hard to get a name in this job and this professional work. I was laying down a bill to this Bundesbau Direktion Wien, Niederösterreich, Burgenland. And my bill was not like my offer. Of course, I have not included positions where I have to move big ways, like three tons or two tons of ways from the roof of the university down to the street and bring it somewhere. So I did not put these positions in my bill. The chief there, I think his name was Maya, gave out Reizen in this Baudirektion Wien. Gell? He told to me, sorry, your bill is not the same as your offer. It has to be the same as your offer. I explained to him that I will not uh, I will not lay bills for uh, for work that I did not do, even if the tax payers in Austria are paying all this my work. He said to me, "No, no, this is absolutely seriously normal. We do it all the time. You can do this." I mean, this was a a really position. This was more than one position. It's about 80,000. So I did not lay it in my bill. I told to this chief, I have two questions to you now. What I am doing if I get proved by the financial? How can I show them that I have costs of 80,000? You know what this man told to me? He said, well, we are not proving ourselves. We are the Bund. We are the government. So I said, I have another question. How much money do you want for this? And then he got a red face. And of course, I did not lay this bill. But at the moment, my wife is concretely, always, if she gets more fine and more well. These fucking crimes are 
stalking. My wife, in real, she was going to hospital yesterday to talk to the anonymous alcoholic group. And you cannot believe I reported it. Now, again, I please, now real, all media, wherever from, to help me. I have in real four terabyte of data with about 15,000 videos, short or long, with about voice recording, about 10,000, with concretely 200 kilo of papers showing the fucking terror what was starting on as I went to the Austrian minister in the financial and in the economy ministry I told them about this crime happen and I am not willing to lay bills for a work that I did not do I mean to pay with money from tax payers is very easy huh? but you ministers you have to know the people here in Austria are working very hard for the money and for the tax you get you do not have any allow to misuse this tax money for your personal profit and this is why I was judging them 1996 two years it was really the biggest chaos in the media here in Austria. I got calls from some anonymous people, but I really know who. They told to me, now, uh, Laniga, you have uh, done something very not nice. Uh, you have shown up this and now you are not allowed to work in Austria again. And I mean, I am really... I learned 14 jobs, I told to this fucking piece, you know, I'm not listening to your nonsense, I have 14 jobs before I am without a work, you are going like this to some social, now I cannot find words, I please you now to come here to my place in Dreiskirchen, in the mirror of Dreiskirchen, my telephone number is inside, And of course, you fucking crimes and justice, you will not have any chance anymore. Of course, I am loving my country, Austria. I did not put every video public in the internet. Some videos I have put in. And now this fucking Nazi cops telling to my wife, you know what your man is showing? He shows that you are drunk on something. No, I don't show that my wife is drunk. I am showing cops who are not willing to bring my helpless wife in the hospital. And five minutes later, we have a real problem. My wife broke his le her legs. My wife uh, ran on the street. She pushed cars. She... No, it's uh, only Nazi... NSDAP Austria. Und jetzt, liebe Österreicher, sage ich es Ihnen allen ins Gesicht. Auch Sie werden der ORF, liebe Heute-Zeitung, liebe Österreich-Zeitung, es ist ganz egal, Profil, News, Puls 4 oder andere Sender wurden von mir hundertmal gebeten. Na, hundertmal ist übertrieben. Aber einige Male ging ich sogar mit meiner Frau dort hin und bat diese Medien um Hilfe, um echte Unterstützung gegen diesen Nazi-Terror von Staatswegen. Und Sie, Michael Leitner, Sie gehören sofort ins Gefängnis. Und warum Österreich solche Leute schützt, ist schon ein Zeichen, gell, wie kaputt dieses Land ist. Man hätte Österreich, really, after the Second World War, Germany and Austria, it would be really better if these countries would have get an international government for about 50 years. That this Nazi philosophy 
and all these crazy thick now in real there is a really big problem and you have to understand I am just wanting that this terror has an end I want concrete those crimes judged but this fucking state Austria told I am not normal I am a very dangerous person yes of course I am a very dangerous person but only for crime ministers you know for really terror government yes I am a really dangerous person I am showing international how this state is working so tell me dear ladies and gentlemen how is it possible to care for a family member even helpless and the cops are doing terror it's not really a big problem to bring my wife into the hospital if she is really out of any control they are telling and laughing telling to her your husband is a idiot you know and of course if they are leaving my wife in this helpless condition of course she is attacking me but this situation is arranged by these cops and now I tell you again you pisser of Austrian cops you will get a real problem if this Austria government is still exist I have to move now from Austria I really wanted to go with my wife to her home she is from Russia I also went to the ambassador of Russia in the year 2006 yeah Mr. Osachi consul of Russia I have told you I need help you cannot look as a Russian that the Austrian cops are killing a Russian wife she did not do anything it was only really an act of real fucking nonsense but it was not judged it was after I show it up they they wanted to judge me to make me shut down so it's 70 minutes it's enough I will report it now today is the 17 January 2017 today is Tuesday in real here in Austria every court has now the day where the people can move and talk to the courts but in real the governments and all the ministries and all this fucking parliament and all these people inside they really organized now a very good system for to protect state crime we are not in need to talk about Russia <laughs> Russia is more democracy as Austria ever will be. So this is my last sentence here. I please now really help me first to save the life of my wife. And I am moving to any country where I am sure not getting terrorized. I just want to work. If this fucking Austria government, also the major here in Dreiskirchen, I went there and I told I have very special ideas. I can bring chops. In real, this Dragon Day will bring 100,000 chops. But these fucking crimes are really, how to say, sabotage. All what I am trying to start, they are demolishing. Thank you very much, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now I am awaiting for your response. It's five o'clock in the morning. I will go for a coffee now. I will make me some coffee. And I really hope for a serious, better understanding. And no, I'm not afraid to fight hungry cops. 
thousand cops. If a cop is a crime and a terrorist, this is more crime than a just terrorist. Because these people are paid by tax money to help citizens. Also, liebe Österreich, tun Sie auch nicht mehr auf Polizeiplakate schreiben, helfen, Sicherheit, Prävention. Liebe Österreicher, die Polizisten wissen ja nicht einmal, was das Wort Prävention bedeutet. Gell? Weil sonst hätte meine Frau sicher nicht hunderte Verletzungen und Knochenbrüche auch davongetragen. Ein Treppensturz in Neunkirchen, wo dieser Sauhundverbrecher Jakubi durch die Gegend rennt. Vor ein paar Tagen, some days ago in the media here in Austria, it was written that 20 people illegal was pushed in a house in Grafen. Bach in Neunkirchen. Ja, in Grafenbach, where this fucking Jakubi from Macedonia is living. And this fucker has taken all the electric from my apartment. I have to move two uh, etages from two floors to my apartment. But without light, it was not possible. Minus, minus 11 degrees inside the apartment. I have reported, I have all this saved in videos, in documents. I was going to the court, I told the, he has to put on the light. But my wife, really, she fall down the stairs. She pushed with her head in the wall. You know, well... My wife sometimes is really this much gone, she will not understand that she broke her hand or leg, she will not feel anything. But I am not drinking, you know, I am not using any fucking drugs. As you fucking cops, maybe too much cokes in your nose, eh? or there too much alcohol in the brain. And this is not how to make what you are telling, we are helping. We are here for to save and help the citizen. Na, you Minister Sobotka, und Sie jetzt nicht, diese Drecks-Polizisten Scheiße von Wien, und Sie, Herr Bürstl, als Präsident der Wiener Polizei, gell? Sie sind ja auch involviert. Auch Sie, Herr Pressesprecher, heil. Ich habe auch ein Video, da sind Sie alle drauf zu sehen. Sie nicht, Herr Bürstl, oder waren Sie vielleicht auch da, aber auf jeden Fall war der Heil dabei, gell? Meine Frau, Selbstmord, Gedanken, natürlich. Jeder Mensch verzweifelt. Really, my wife was gone real. She wrote a letter that she will no more live in this situation. They took the letter from her trousers and they wanted to keep it. So that if I am telling that she wrote this letter, they told, no, we did not have any letter. I am a liar. The only liar here in Austria is in first, the top government, and then we have to discuss about how a parliament is working. But in real, if a justice is also involved in corruption, there is no chance for any good life. I please you now, come to Austria. I will give you hundreds of facts in your hands. You can have whatever you want. I will show you how cops have terrorized me and my wife, how they treat on my life, how they demolish all my work. And also as an artist, they destroyed artworks of mine. It's vandalism. But it's all, all okay. We are in Austria. No, I will fight this fucking Austria. Government, 2070. And of course, I will not give up until all these fucking involved crimes are arrested, but arrested somewhere in a desert, not with TV in a room, three times food, gell? crazy. We are now looking to make this world a serious place where good people can live and not where crimes are on top. Thank you very much. I'm waiting for you, BBC, London. I'm waiting for you, 
uh, NS, whatever, in America. Of course, I want to move with an idea to America. I can bring 100,000 jobs, serious jobs, inside a family. But first, I want my wife safe. Her parents cannot help. They are in Moscow. And they are not rich. And in case that Austria is not allowing me to really get big money. <laughs> so I have to move this fucking crime Austria and I will come back. And I really will come back, you know? No, I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I will come back to fuck your crime hits.